to be televised or not to be televised? That will be the question before the House, and maybe the Senate too, if the Judiciary Committee votes to go ahead on impeachment. Here's point counterpoint. No one knows, Nick, whether the House will vote to impeach Mr. Nixon, or if so, if the President might resign rather than face trial. But the possibility is shaping up that just a few months hence, we might find ourselves launched into one of the greatest trials in history. The topic assigned us for tonight, Nick, has nothing to do with the merits of the case against Mr. Nixon, but it's important all the same. The question is, what about television? Now, traditionally, as you know, there's been great opposition to the televising of trials. Most judges are dead set against it. The Senate itself never has permitted TV coverage of its actual sessions. And the Senate might balk at the prospect of gavel-to-gavel -gavel coverage of an impeachment trial. After all, if the camera showed only a dozen senators on the floor, it might look pretty bad to the home folks. And the more senators think about this, the more likely they are to say no. But Nick, I believe the trial of Richard Nixon, if it ever comes to pass, would have to be televised live from start to finish, or at least put on tape simply for the historic record. The people would have to have some opportunity to see for themselves if the trial were fair. It would be rough on the networks, even if they followed the daily rotation plan of the Watergate hearings. A full-blown impeachment trial would last at least four months, some pessimists say 10 to 12 months, and the lost advertising revenues would be enormous. It would be rough on the president, and on senators too, and on everyone with something else to do. But while it lasted, Nick, it would be living history, and we have to be able to see it. Egads, Jack, this is one of those rare and awful moments when we are in complete agreement. But it's all academic. You are not going to have any trial in the Senate by Labor Day. If not sooner, Richard Milhouse Nixon will be our only living ex-president. Jack, you may still be defending him, thereby showing a loyalty to Nixon that the transcripts reveal he never showed to others. But the rest of the Republican Party is in the process of dumping him. He can say he'll never resign. He can send Ziegler and Clawson out there to say, hell will freeze over first, but so did Agnew. They're not going to go through the blood and pain of any Senate trial. They, the grand old party, the Republicans, the conservatives, they've all had it with them. And you know what they're going to do? Pretty soon now, Barry Goldwater and a couple of the other big Republican big shots are going to take the long ride down Pennsylvania Avenue to the White House. And they're going to say, Mr. President, we must respectfully inform you that you have had it. You are finished, kaput, over, terminated, wasted, and washed up. And that, Jack, will be that.